So residents of a North Sioux City apartment building are still without a permanent place to call home tonight after fire gutted much of the building back on Monday. KCAU 9 News reporter Lydia Vasquez joining us live now from the Northport Apartments with an update on how residents are doing and how you can help. Lydia? Tim, Sophie, the American Red Cross has been putting up displaced residents at the Hampton Inn in North Sioux City. The city has also been coordinating lunch and dinner and gift cards have been given to residents to buy essentials. But residents tell me they just want somewhere to call home. KCAU first spoke with Betty Barnett after she helped evacuate residents from the Northport Apartments. Three days later, she went back to see if her belongings were salvageable. Everything's gone. It's just ashes. The whole thing is just ashes. There really wasn't anything to save. I wanted to get some pictures, but we couldn't even get in there. Barnett says she has family in town and may stay with them until she can find a new place. Resident Beverly Witzel was able to recover most of her belongings, but says she'll be forced to move out of state. My daughter came back from Arizona to get me, and I'm leaving Friday for Arizona. Yeah, I'm leaving all my friends. <laughs> been here 20 years and I know everybody. I know everybody in North Sioux. And it's a hard situation for a person 80 years old, you know, to go through this. But I'll survive. I'm okay. I'm just, I kind of numb, depressed, you know. Betty Oldenkamp is the president and CEO of Lutheran Social Services South Dakota, which owns the Northport Apartments. We have been identifying um, apartment complexes that have vacancies, um, really focusing though on, on low income senior housing options because that's what this program was. And so um, have identified places that do have openings available, have gotten applications um, into the hands of people. Camp says they're helping residents to expedite applications with other apartment complexes. They're working to get social services to help with that process. Lutheran Social Services has set up an account where people can donate cash and that money will go directly to residents. The Red Cross and Dunes Family Pharmacy are also collecting donations. We'll have a link to all the places you can go to donate and help out some of these res residents on our website, SiouxLineProud.com. It'll be under this story. Just click on the featured content tab. Reporting live, Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.